Get ready to step back in time and explore the most intense and shocking punishments used in ancient China. From beheadings to death by a thousand cuts, this was a time when justice was served in the most brutal of ways. Welcome to the YouTube channel where we delve into history's darkest secrets and uncover the truth behind some of the most fascinating historical events. The ancient Chinese judicial system was harsh and applied punishments equally to all offenders. The aim was to inflict as much pain as possible to discourage crime and maintain social order. Although these methods seem extreme by today's standards, they were accepted at the time. In ancient China, street safety was compromised due to criminal activities. To address this issue, punishments had to be immediate and serve as a deterrent for potential criminals. Trials were expedited with no chance for the accused to defend themselves, and punishments were handed down without regard to the offender's age or gender. In 1912, the founding of the Republic led to the end of most of these punishments. However, China's judicial system still reflects its historical roots, with the government maintaining a strong hold on power and distrusting citizens who question or challenge authority. The Chinese criminal justice system was both severe and effective. Physical and mental torture was frequently used to extract confessions or penalties, often leaving even the toughest criminals pleading for mercy. Some of these punishments included slow drip torture. Slow drip torture was a method of punishment used in ancient China that was designed to inflict slow and intense pain on the offender. The method involved dripping water, sometimes mixed with acid, onto the victim's skin continuously without ceasing. The constant dripping of water, which only intensified over time, caused great psychological damage to the victim. The acid in the water would slowly eat away at the skin, causing intense pain and eventually leading the victim to madness. The reasons behind using this form of torture are unclear, but it was a commonly used punishment in the ancient Chinese judicial system. The objective was to inflict maximum pain to discourage crime and maintain social order. Although this method was inhumane and cruel by today's standards. Maiming Maiming was a form of punishment commonly used in ancient China to inflict physical and psychological harm on criminals. This method involved branding the offender with hot irons, amputating limbs or genitalia, and even slicing off noses without the use of anesthesia. The last punishment was so widespread that it even had its own character in the Chinese language. Maiming was used as a form of punishment in the Chinese judicial system to inflict pain and suffering on the offender as a deterrent for crime and to maintain social order. This method was harsh and inhumane, causing permanent physical and psychological damage to the victim. The use of maiming as a form of punishment in ancient China reflects the society's belief in the power of pain and fear to control behavior and maintain order. Today, these practices are considered cruel and unacceptable, and the world has made significant progress towards a more humane and just society. Kangyu Kangyu was a form of punishment commonly used in ancient China that involved whipping the offender with bamboo rods or canes. Whipping was likely the most prevalent form of punishment in ancient China and was used to inflict pain and suffering as a deterrent for crime and to maintain social order. The number of strikes was determined by the severity of the offense and frequent fatalities resulted from severe beatings. The use of Kangyu was a brutal and inhumane method of punishment causing physical and psychological harm to the victim. It was used to control behavior and maintain social order, reflecting society's belief in the power of pain and fear to govern behavior. Today, such practices are considered unacceptable and have been abolished in most parts of the world. The world has made significant progress towards a more humane and just society where the focus is on rehabilitation and reform rather than punishment and pain. Neck Tower A tall, narrow tower was used for punishment where the offender was locked inside with shackled hands and feet, standing on a tower of rocks. Every day, one or two stones were removed, leading to the eventual death of the offender from suffocation. Death by a Thousand Cuts this was a prolonged and agonizing method of execution for the most serious crimes. The offender was tied to a post and incisions were made on their body. The punishment involved the removal of skin, muscles, and even body parts 
to maximize pain with the intention of keeping the organs functioning, the sentences could range from 8 to 120 cuts. In conclusion, the judicial system in ancient China was marked by extreme punishments designed to inflict maximum pain as a deterrent for crime and to maintain social order. These methods, though brutal and inhumane by today's standards, were the norm in a society where street safety was compromised due to criminal activity. The Chinese criminal justice system was both severe and effective, using physical and mental torture to extract confessions and penalties. Today, while the Republic of China has put an end to most of these punishments, the country's judicial system still reflects its historical roots with a strong government hold on power and a distrust of citizens who question authority. As we look back at the past, we can be grateful for the progress that has been made towards a more humane and just society. And that concludes our journey through the brutal punishments used in ancient China. We hope you found this trip down history lane as fascinating and eye-opening as we did. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, share it with your friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative and entertaining content like this. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.